In this video, we'll be writing the formulas for an equation in addition to balancing the equation. These are two things we've done already. In this video, we'll just be combining them. So the first thing we're going to do is write the formula. Only after we've written all the formulas can we then balance the equation. So once again, it's got to be done in this order. First, we write all of the formulas. After we've completed that step, then we balance the equation. So you'll remember that fluorine is one of the seven diatomics. It was written as F2. Sodium has a charge of plus one. Hydroxide has a charge of minus one. So it's simply NaOH. Sodium again is plus one. Fluoride is minus one. So the formula is NaF. Oxygen again is one of those seven diatomic molecules. So it's written as O2. And water, of course, is simply H2O. So let's just pick a place to start. Let's start at fluorine. We have two fluorines on the left. So let's go ahead and make two fluorines on the right. Now that made two sodiums on the right. So let's make two sodiums on the left. Okay, so this two made two hydrogens. And this two also made two oxygens. But you'll notice here on the right that we have three oxygens. So we already have too many oxygens on the right. So we know that we're going to have to change um, this number in some way. Now here's where balancing um, can oftentimes become sort of a guess and check method. So what I'm going to try to do um, is place a coefficient of 2 out front here. So now how many oxygens do we have on the right? Well, we have four total, two here and two here. And we've also made four hydrogens. So if we have four oxygens on the right, that means we're going to need four on the left. So instead of a two, let's change that to a four. Now we have four oxygens on the left and four hydrogens on the left. Here, we've got four oxygens and four hydrogens. But by placing a 4 here, we made 4 sodiums. So let's change this 2 to a 4. But this also made 4 fluorines. So let's make 4 fluorines over here. So now this equation is balanced. Notice once again, first we wrote the formulas. Then, after we had written all the formulas, we wrote the coefficients. All right, let's practice one more. So aluminum plus copper 2 chloride is going to react to make copper plus aluminum chloride. So um, the symbol for aluminum is just Al. You'll recall that copper 2, this 2 does not mean that there are two coppers. It means that copper has a charge of plus 2. And chloride always has a charge of minus 1. So copper 2 chloride should be written like this. Remember, we'll be kind of zigzagging those charges. Plus copper, plus aluminum chloride. Aluminum has a charge of plus 3, and chloride again is minus 1. So it should be written AlCl3. Now that we've written the formulas, we can balance it. So I would notice that we have chlorines on the left and right. Um, we have two on the left and three on the right. So what we should look for is the least common multiple. And of course here, the least common multiple is six. So what number do we have to put out front to make six chlorines? Let's write a three. And over here, to make six chlorines, we need a two. Now placing a two out here, of course, made two aluminums. So we'll need two aluminums over here. And placing this three made three coppers. So we're going to need three coppers here on the right.